This is a 5G enabled ambulance. I am at India Mobile Congress and here everybody is presenting their 5G demos and this is one of the big demo which is a 5G enabled ambulance. It is fully connected. Let me take you inside it first. They have nicely played. This is an ICU level ambulance. All the equipment that you would probably need in an ICU is present here and you have an aerial 5G router that will give you all the connectivity you need and it's connecting all the devices here including the cameras and this video call system as you can see here is a defibrillator here here is all the pressure points to be checked a uh, lot of other things a suction pump and this is where uh, a doctor can come via a video call and he can monitor the patient uh, to see what is happening and how he can help there are multiple cameras also placed and everything here is connected via 5G so that there is very low latency so that uh, the doctor can quickly tell what exactly to do uh, with the help of all the cameras here and be on a video call and there is real time help that is being given to the patient and I will take you where all the screens are where the doctor is monitoring and this is what the doctor will see uh, the hospital control room so he can track the location of the ambulance he can also track the other significant vitals and also help now here is where we showed you from inside that the camera was placed and the patient is placed here and he can give real time help with very low latency and very high speed thanks to 5G. Now I have with me Mr. Shankar from Cisco. My first question to you is this is the first 5G enabled ambulance I have seen uh, but there were 4G enabled ambulance before. So what is the exact difference and how uh, much change and help will it be to the patients? Sure. Uh so uh, the whole point of a connected ambulance is not a new thing and the, and the fundamental difference is that what goes inside the ambulance is now enhanced. So earlier you couldn't put a, a, a defibrillator, you couldn't put a patient monitoring system. The, at the most you could do is set up a WhatsApp call and, and the doctor on the remote end could just take a look at the patient with a mobile video. All that has changed and that's all you can do in 4G. With 5G, you could actually load the whole uh, ambulance with medical uh, equipment, be it an injection syringe pump or a ECG machine or a, or a ventilator and so on. And they're all connected so that the remote doctor can administer in real time the patient uh, the right kind of treatment. That's the fundamental difference, right? The ability to send the patient's data in, in real time at a very fast pace with, with the least latency. That's the fundamental difference between any kind of connected ambulances versus the 5G connected ambulance. My second question to you will be on the cost. So is there a substantial amount of difference when you install like a 5G ambulance now? Sure. Uh, there is a cost element, but then it's a cost versus life. So uh, it's a very hard trade-off to say uh, cost versus life. The way uh, we've designed this with our partner Tesla Technologies is that we've designed this as a whole uh, ICU on wheels. So you could actually dispatch this to let's say a remote uh, district headquarters or a tier 3 village or a town and you could get a whole uh, bunch of people doing their medical checkups on a frequent basis and so on. So you now have amortized that cost over a larger volume of people and not just one person you're carrying from part, uh, part of the city to another part of the city and so on. So cost is something that is manageable. Thank you so much.